Andy Borodo, 24 years old, one of Canada's most decorated wrestlers, the former Olympian, recognizes the importance of Canadian success on the international stage. From the Commonwealth Games, uh, it was a good international experience. The team did well. Uh, we meshed well together. Uh, I mean, nine golds and a silver, and it could very easily have been ten if Paul hadn't gotten injured. Um, that really helped from a team perspective. And uh, to some of the guys who haven't had that much international exposure and exposure to the press, that'll really help them down at the, uh, down at the games in Atlanta. Uh, we've wrestled quite a few times. He beat me once in double overtime. And although I'm not taking anything away from Yogi, I really feel that I'm going to win. I mean, I guess I wouldn't be here if I didn't. Um, I hope that it'll go my way, and I'm, I'm pretty confident that it will, actually. Yogi's a smart wrestler, and that's, that's one thing that he really has in his favor. Um, I also think I'm a smart wrestler, and from the matches we've had in the past, I'm much more offensive than he is. And 90% of the time, it's the offensive wrestler who wins. So my goal is just to go out there and keep attacking, keep attacking until I score and win the matches. And I think that's where the key lies for me. The man he will attack is Yogi Joe from Burnaby. Won his first senior title in 95, but he was the national Greco-Roman champ in 91. Andrew Borodo is a five-time Canadian champ, two-time CIAU champ. And we pick this up in the second match. Borodo won the first match three to nothing in overtime. Well, Ernie, that was a close match, and, and here we're having another close match. Uh, these two big guys have to have to really work to get position. So right now they're just sort of jostling around trying to get a better position on their opponent. At this weight, 285 pounds, one false move can kill you. If Literally. you get out of position a little bit, yeah, I mean, you're gonna you're gonna lose points big time. They're both so big and so quick. This is for position, obviously, right here. Yeah. Andy seems very confident. Joel seems a little tentative. Oh, good throw. Now, I'd say that was a bit of a mistake on Joel's part. He did a good job of countering the throw originally, but then he slipped off to the side and uh, allowed Bordo to get the takedown. There's a 1 0 lead there. Remember, he won the first one, so Bordo can sweep this in two if he wins this. Now, he just lays there, very calm, seems to have the suction cup hands. Well, there's a time to be relaxed and a, and a time to be tight. And, and right now, Yogi was relaxed. Now he's got to be a little tighter to, to stop the gut wrench that Bordo's trying. Bordo's trying, trying everything right. there. Great job. Tried going to the right, switch back to the left, caught Yogi off guard, and did two points on that gut wrench. Three to nothing for Bordo, still on top, looking for more points here. That was a great job on Bordo's part. Now Yogi's in trouble because there's not much time left. Three nothing, so uh, he's gonna have to pick things up if he wants to go into that third match. The pressure, you get the underhook. Joel has to do some shooting here, has to go after him. Yeah, he's gotta be a little bit more offensive. Um, which is easier to say than do, but. <laughs> Trying to throw him, but he can't get that leverage at all, can he? Well, Bordo's great at countering. As we see here, good job. Now Yogi's in trouble. Andy's going to try to get him off balance, him. try to knock him over, try to push him back so Yogi comes forward. Good job of countering it. Both feet outside now. Still Referee will stop it if two go. Oh. Beautiful on Bordo's part. Two points, Bordo gains a 5-0 lead, and that's the way it happened. The 130-kilo class winner is Andrew Bordo from Montreal. If you ever want to feel little or slim, stand by one of these guys, the winner of the 130K. Uh, Andy, you didn't take any chances out there. You went right after Yogi. Well, I knew Yogi's a tough competitor. He's smart. He's not going to give me a lot of points. So I knew if I scored early, scored a good number of points, I'd be safe. Certainly where you were at the Olympics in Barcelona in 92, what would it feel like to return in Atlanta? Uh, it's great to return, but I'm hoping even more that I'll play, take a medal and that'll be a dream come true. Congratulations to you. Thank you very Andrew much. Andrew Borado, winner of the 130K.